Hello guys, and welcome to episode 4 of my Brutal Creek campaign in Warno, playing on the NATO side. Previously, we made a couple of epic defences at Elsfeld. It was really, really fun to play on the urban map, so definitely go back and check that out if you missed it. But today, we are needing to decide what we're going to do with our troops in Elsfeld. Are we going to allow them to be surrounded? That's obviously not an option. So... We have two things that we can do. We can either fall all the way back to our panzers here and then make a counterattack into Ausfeld. Or I was thinking we could just shift back one tile again. That way we should keep our presence over the flag in Ausfeld whilst preventing them from moving in between my forces. I think that would work because there would only be two squares in between rather than three. I think with three they can move into this area here. Whereas if I just slightly move back like this then we keep the gap open ready for our reinforcements. So a slight retreat. Also if we get attacked we'll be in semi-urban terrain again which means we'll probably get the airport map. And then my tanks will actually be useful against what's coming our way. Uh, we can also set up HGMs again if we have many left, which we really don't. Uh, so that would be a pretty tight defense, but we will have the aircraft to help us out a little bit. My units up here are going to have to just wait on fatigue, but we can probably move them up slightly. I don't think they are going to attack us. And if they do, potentially that's a good thing. So Let's just move up the Panzergram Battalion here and we'll have the 11th ACR next to them and then maybe they'll attack us and if they do that's good for us because we'll likely destroy all their ground forces and be able to push into Bad Hersfeld. So I'm just going to kind of commit here. Uh, there is a unit behind us that might try and go and cut us off or you know come across here but we'll see how things go. Uh, for now let's move on to the next turn and see if we get attacked near Ausfeld. We have managed to hold the flag, which is good. This is going to be a big attack. And it's going to be multiple attacks by the looks of things as well. The attacker currently total victory for them. These are very, very depleted. So them attacking separately... Is somewhat good for us. There is a lot of AT guns in there though. We're going to have to be careful of those. Because I'll probably just bring them up and unload them in our face. Wait, what was that 16 unit? Oh, military police. Okay, no, not to worry. I'm going to save my aircraft for another battle. Because there is this unit here with six action points. And this is all of the tanks. So I think we have to kind of save for that. But this is going to be the epic defense of Ausfeld once again today I think as we wait for our reinforcements to arrive. Let's tactical battle or jump on in and uh, try our best to fend off the tide. It's going to be difficult for sure although yeah what is this? Wow what a map. Okay interesting. So in this case, how are we going to do this? Hmm. Because my infantry is not as good as theirs. So in this close range combat, we're at a massive disadvantage. It might help me actually make use of the reserve pioneers though. There's that. We have a lot of high marchers and still. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Like the Heimatschutzen with the Reserve Pioneers. I think we'll be fine in the forest. We just need to cap these as quickly as possible, I think, and try and win off conquest points. So we'll just throw an Iltis Führungs in here. We'll throw an Iltis Führungs up towards uh, Alpha as well. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get to Alpha before they do. I think this is going to be contested and... I don't know if it's worth me actually trying to commit there. It may be worth just trying to hold out back here at Bravo instead. But we'll definitely be able to like flood infantry into Charlie. 
Gotta save them, or save the, the mast here. Check out this weather. It's kind of bright, but uh, <laughs> the like fog here actually looks really cool. Kind of like that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and bring in Heimatschutzen. Plenty of Heimats. And we can kind of use all of these across the front here. I'm going to probably keep them relatively close together so they can support one another. And it might be worth also bringing up a leader to help them be more efficient. We can use the Sidorongs as well to help with anti-infantry. We'll be good against the Mudschutzen. We're going to close ranges. My Hamats won't be crazy good against the T-55s, so that is going to be a bit of a pain. But it's something. And yeah, so assuming they kind of come up these roads, we might be fine. Okay, over on this side, uh, I'm going to do this like a similar thing. We're gonna we're gonna have all the high Schutzen kind of just chilling in the right side here, and we'll make a little bit of a push into this area. I think that's the play. We'll bring in the leader for them, and I'll also. Let's lead with some Jäger Afkrader. See if we can get into some okay positions. And these two positions would be good for like M40s and stuff. But they'll probably get attacked by artillery almost immediately. See if we can get some M40s in there. I'm gonna basically double up on those M40s. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do two in one and two in the other. Again, I'm just pressing tab in order to scroll through the units. It is something that I'm frequently asked. It's very, very useful to know. It only works when you're selecting the same transports or the same units. So in this case, they're all coming in uh, with the Unimogs here, so you can tab through them. But if there's two different sets of units, it will tab through the different uh, types of units. Okay. Other than that, I mean, the BGS are like close range, really good, good actually. So, again, I should be kind of using these for sure. Like, for, they've got uh, three MP9s, so. Uh, nine MP9s, not three MP9s. I read the MP5A3 part. <laughs> and then, do I have any more? Got more M40s there. We should definitely bring in the Reserve Pioneers. In hindsight, I mean, this map isn't terrible for us. I'm just It's just whether or not they like hide CVs in the corners and stuff. That would be really annoying. And on this side, we're going to struggle to hold it. Maybe I, I move in Panzergrenz here. Let's launch the battle, see how we get on. But an almost entirely infantry engagement from me so far. A couple of jeeps in there, but none of the leopards being used as of yet. What I might do is try and move up the, towards these roads. Something like this. We spread out the high matchets and either side of those so we get side shots. The issue with doing that is it spreads out my leader as well. We'll keep the Otis Führungs close just in case there's a flanking attempt. We're at the plus five, that gives us 12 minutes of victory. <laughs> it's a long time, but the nice thing in this situation is we do have uh, a lot of forest, right? And that's going to slow them down anyway. And also, we can be really sticky in here with all the infantry, which takes quite a while to kill. So we have a good chance of, of holding them back here, I think. Good initial kill there. Make sure that the Elder gets in here and hides. 
and we make sure we can test this. So we maintain a plus five. I might actually just bring these back over here. I am going to need ammo for these if they're going to actually be continuing to engage. So far, so good though. Well, wow. getting a lot of damage done. Big kills. I'm just going to move these out of the way. We'll have the reserve pioneers move up on the right hand side. Yeah, so that's what I imagined would happen. It's like as soon as we fire, they're going to start hitting us with artillery. And honestly, I don't really have any way to avoid it other than just falling back. So that's what we're going to have to do. So, while this is going on, I'm tempted to just... Oh, we need to get all of these Union Mogs out of the way. I might just get them off the field. Um, get some Milans in here, maybe. Or, if we have more M40s, they'd probably be better in this situation. Is what I'm thinking. Let's have all of these leave so I can actually see what we're working with. Because at the moment all these transports are making it difficult to see what's going on. All my trucks are making runs for it. Their close range, the Jaeger Avgada, they can try their best but that is a lot of BMPs. So aside from that, we're going to want to bring in some tanks back here now to absorb the push from the BMPs. Now they don't actually have too much available. Uh, oh, that's interesting. We'll fall back. Uh, that's gonna be wasted if we let it die. Bit of a shame. Right, we're falling back this infantry because we want the high mass to move through here and go first. And then I am gonna need probably some Jaegers here. Bring up some of these. And we're going to spread out a little bit here with the high mats. Make sure that we have things covered. My Ultis Fjordongs did get killed. I'd like to kill the leader though. I don't think any of these, are they going to have range? Maybe we can get some range on these. Pull back a sec. All these get in position. Oh, they're actually coming behind us there. Okay. A little bit of a flanking maneuver by looks things. Alright, so six minutes left. Move the high mats over here. Did my leader get killed? Look, it did. 
I'm actually going to shift these over that way. They are coming in from the far left over here. It's quite interesting. Let's just drop one of the Jaegers in there. The other two can move up to here. Let's see if we can kill that T-55. And they are falling back really quickly. Alright, time for the Sutadongs to move forwards. Uh, there's a unit sneaking through here. Make sure we intercept that. Nice thing about these uh, M40s is they're actually very efficient at getting infantry as well. For now, we're just going to pull these back. Whilst that artillery is firing at us. Bring up some Lukes on the flanks. Going to get the leopards up to the side here. They can help out. We can also move up on the side over here, and this can shoot down from the edge of the hill, which is nice. But the Jaeger's holding well against the Mushudsen, especially since the Mushudsen are moving. forwards here, trying to avoid those bombs best I can. Okay, we only lost one unit of Jaegers. That's okay. That's what we call acceptable losses. Are these Sutadungs and Heimats having a bad time? Are oh, they both routing? I think the artillery is really helping a lot there. At least we're going to be able to get use out of our Sutadungs. So let's just bring in all of these. I'm also going to bring in some more of the Lukes. The nice thing about this map is we are able to use units that we wouldn't usually use. It's working out well. It's only two minutes, well, three minutes left. And as long as we can kind of keep them under attack here and hold them in this position, it would be pretty good for us. We're outnumbering them quite significantly. We're killing off a lot of their Strellas, which will open up the skies in battles following this. So, yeah, I would say this is going really well. And we haven't really had many casualties. Might even have some time to zoom in. <laughs> that looks so cool. Fighting from tree line to tree line like that. Very, very cool. Am I reserve pioneers? All very well, you guys uh, engaging there, but let's let's not. <laughs> we need to fall those back for sure. Uh, looks like we need to fall these back. Get 
get them fixed up. If they keep destroying the buildings in front, then it does give us line of sight through them, so that's okay. Make sure that this is defended properly. One minute left. Made a really, really nice defense so far. I just don't think they have the units to follow this up. There's not as many tanks or anything like that, so we really don't have to worry about being overwhelmed by T-55s at close range. I say if the other T-55 company comes in after this, then yeah, we could be in trouble. Then again, I mean, stacking up the Milans and M40s has worked relatively well. It might be nice to try and kill that Kvostika if they have taken their foot off the pedal. I can do it with these guys, actually. Let's just move these leopards up. Uh, these could also push on the BMP-1 there, I suppose. But I don't need to kill the BMP-1. I do need to kill the Gwazdika. Try and fall back from this artillery. Spread out the Sutodongs on that side. And it looks like the... Yeah, the goals to come run away, so we're not going to be able to do anything there. And there's two AT guns, so we'll definitely smoke ourselves off and just take the win. Wonderful. Nice total victory. Lost how we had 20 losses, they had 49. What did we lose? We lost the Niltis Furongs and my Jägerfjord. That was unfortunate. We lost the M40s that we deployed further up with the Jäger Alfkara. And then otherwise it was just infantry. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. Losing the M40s at the front was maybe a waste. Didn't really need to happen. But uh, that destroyed that unit on the right side and disorganized. Oh, now it's our turn. So we've managed to, I would say, defend Arsfeld very effectively. We've got three fatigue over here on these guys. So we can make an attack toward Bad Hersfeld. Taking out all of these would be huge. There's really not much in our way. Like the total number of units here is like nothing on these guys. We kill those so fast. And then that is just the BM21 napalm launches. No wonder. <laughs> I didn't realize it gets so many of them. Five? It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this is easy. And it's just the helicopters. It's going to be pure helicopter spam in this battle. Holy. We'd have to set up like big, big stinger and flick fast traps in order to deal with all of that. Okay, right. So I think the plan is maybe not even to attack here at Arsfeld. We could maybe just defend. Uh, we kind of pull the units back. Like, say, I move in the Panzer Battalion here. And we shift this one back, move that one forwards there. General, our forces have retaken Alsfeld. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Please don't lose that. Move this one back, move this one forwards. And there we go, boom. And we've got the artillery back here that's just chilling. Uh, we'll move up the AA behind. And whack up the AA. And to be honest, I don't know. Maybe I should attack on this on the flanks here, like especially on the flank on this unit. That's a lot of tanks, though. Will it matter? I mean, if we attack this one and prepare an attack, they can call in all of these other units. So we'd be up against like four enemy units. We'd bring in the Panzer Battalion. We'd bring in the Panzer Grands. And we bring in the artillery and the aircraft, right? Because that would be everything needed. It would be a major victory, actually, if we just sort of resolve this. That might be worth doing. Just to kind of blunt them on the left-hand side, and then we, we take a tactical battle up at Bad Hersfeld. Because this one, I think we're going to have to play out. Like, if we do a prepare attack here, it says it's going to be a draw, right? So... We'd have to we'd have to play that one out. So let's just take the order resolve here. Because I think it would be just a slaughter anyway. Although then again, 
Maybe you guys want to see me use the uh, the leopards, right? <laughs> I think it would be fun to use the leopards. <laughs> Even though it would be an absolutely crazy battle to engage in. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's tactical battle. And we'll jump on in. Oh, they didn't reinforce it. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Well, at least you get to see me use the leopards, right? Okay, well, good old death row. Three sectors to capture. They're quite far up. We're just going to blitz our way down the middle of the map, I think. I will have to be careful once I get to the town. As long as I bring recon with me, I should be okay. So, we have plenty of points to start with. We're going to bring leaders with us as well. So, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to have these in, like, in multiple groups, I think. Each with their own looks. So back them up. There isn't going to be any aircraft, so we don't need Gepards. I think it's because it said it was a major victory, that's why the AI is not, not coming along here. I'm going to have uh, a couple of M577s kind of come up behind and we can just leave them in any, any areas that we have already taken. Alright, let's uh, launch the battle. Uh, we will start moving forwards. Uh, these Lukes can have follow orders onto the Leopards and same with this Leopard leader. Okay, and then other than that, I'm going to start bringing in and Zagrans to take us through the town here. But my plan will be to just like pop units into the corners here. So we'll come up like so and then have one go left and one go right. And we can spread out a few units of leopards with them push up the middle and kind of like fan out that's that's the that's the plan that's the plan I do have artillery available so it might be a good idea to use that because it's a lot of artillery and it's actually pretty cheap well, another great thing about uh, leopards is they are very very good at firing on the move Getting on my flank there is not good, but we got the kills before the infantry unload, so that's nice. We'll leave this one in here because the Leopard 2A3 on the left can capture the one there. It looks like this might actually be a battle the way we win by conquest points, but we're going to want to try and get ahead on conquest points as soon as possible because otherwise uh, it's not going to be a total victory oh wow the leopard 2a3 showed sign at the last second there that was terrible alright my artillery is ready let's just line these up on the main road we'll shift through here in order to get to the right side. Big kills. Artillery's happy far and away. Bring up 
all of my supply. I just control click there to bring them all in at once. I need to do that more often, I always forget that it's a thing. <laughs> it's much, much easier than clicking nine times. Right, otherwise, we need more infantry, like, or more tanks like so. Oh, my M109s are getting wrecked on the backside. Do they have smoke? They don't. <laughs> my artillery is dying. Oh no. That's really not good. We have been outflanked. Ouch. I think I lost them all, right? Oh no, two survived. Two survived. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> These M113s. Oh no, uh, I'm just going to tell them to keep going. Whatever. <laughs> Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. The leopards will be here shortly, don't worry. <laughs> this one conquest has done so much damage. Absolutely ruined by the AI. Okay. Looks like we lost the leopard over here as well. <laughs> this has certainly been a uh, bad battle for me. Oh, one of them routed. Right. Let's just get up on the ridge here. Unload the haze, get them forwards. don't know if I'm going to be able to find the leader on this side. It's going to be very difficult. We can try. I'd like to continue pushing up on the left as well, but this is where they're kind of pushing back against us. Maybe I can push up here. I'm very worried about like much shit sand being in these trees. Maybe I have to bring in some pioneers. Let's bring in two pioneers there. We'll bring in one pioneer here. <laughs> I was wondering what that sound was. Another conkers flanked me on the on the right side here. Well, good to know on this map. Make sure I have a leopard on at least every road. Another conkers found in the back line here. Very cheeky. Oh, did we break the morale? Looks like we did. I didn't realise it was uh, that close. <laughs> it would have been a total victory if I wasn't losing all my M109 to the back there. This is what happens, guys, when I bring out Delory, okay? <laughs>
That was funny. <laughs> Alright, they are playing. That's fine. So, I'm hoping that my AA will be safe back here. Uh, and in the end of the turn, they won't just kind of come around and attack that. That would be unfortunate. For now, uh, let's make this attack. We'll prepare the attack here. We'll go on in. And uh, yeah, this is going to be really, really interesting. Like, let's tactical battle. And off we go. So they do have the helicopters with them. This map is actually really good for helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a lot of cover and we got a long way to go wow the, re the points are so far back I think we can probably win though by using morale because the helicopters they they cost a lot so if we shoot them down really really good for us but yeah they're going to be bumping into all of my stingers at super close range and all of the uh flake of house at super close range so it's gonna be really bad for us i really don't know how i'm gonna play this out it's gonna be so so tough and we could maybe send like a tank group down the right hand side with the gepards and and the pvads and then maybe we just push infantry into alpha That could be a way to do it. We do like a couple of A cabs, uh, like a couple of P pads, get the couple of Gepards over here. We have like two distinct groups. We have like an armored group with the Bradleys, with the, with the Abrams. And then we have a bunch of infantry from the Panzergrands. Um, fight Alpha. And we bring in a ton of Lega Faust behind. Alright, that'll do. Watch the battle. Off we go. Oh, we need a leader. Or two. So, the way that I'm going to do this is... Have the Bradleys specifically follow the tanks and the PVADs can follow the Bradleys. So they stay in that order. And then I'm going to send the M1A1 leader up the right. And we'll send an infantry leader up the mid. I'm hoping that the helicopters do come in piecemeal, otherwise we might be in trouble. I guess I could just send an M11, M571, uh, to the middle. Bring up a stinger here. Uh, we can unload this. And we should unload all of these here. Yeah. That's like already a bunch of points. Each of those recon helicopters is worth three points each. move up here. We'll have the Marders move up as well. Help us out. The Fleek Faust we need to keep safe, so let's just move them across. And uh, it looks like I might actually need some tanks here. So let's bring up an uh, Abrams or two. Uh, we can move these across to engage those with the Fleek Faust, or with the uh, Panzer Faust. Wir haben 
bring up a couple of extra Abrams here. Should probably use mostly A cabs in the trees. And this is the three reinforcement points, so, so what we can do is probably set up on the ridge here. Just allow the leader to move in. How did I end up selecting this one back? <laughs> I'm not too fussed about losing the martyrs. Well, don't use that to the mod Schutzen. That would be really bad. Okay, right. These need to keep moving up. If that's going to be the case. And we're going to want to get into better positions here. As if he's just driving straight towards us. That's sad. Okay, well, the lead is dead, so we're going to cap that for ourselves. Bring over the Flagerfast here. We haven't seen any of their helicopters yet. Bring up some engineers. Need more infantry that's better at close range. Maybe, I guess the dismount troopers do have AT4s. That's okay. So this is an air spawn. That's a, those two are land spawns. So we can maybe cut them off from this side. It doesn't look like they're bringing in any extra units. Gonna move an A cab up here. Need some recon. Right, so we got a little bit of time to play with. Maybe they're just not bringing in the helicopters because of the like AA that I have. We have a lot of AA, so maybe they just are choosing not to. Maybe that's how it's like kind of programmed. We will see as we move on. worried about these guys getting killed so we're gonna unload them early I want them to get sniped in their transports on the way up the road we we'll just unload everything here and run them through I have two m1a1 a cabs here so we could look to peek over this ridge maybe Two Abrams there. Yeah, most of the most of the reinforcements are coming on on this left side. Yes, sir. These all come in M one one three, so we we'll utilize them As you command, to engage enemy infantry. These can help clear out the left side. Oh, there's the leader. Good. Really good kill. Now we need to look for the one on the right side. So let's move the A cabs with the Panzergrenz through the middle there. There's some reinforcements coming in. That's just the new leader. Right 
Doesn't look like they're gonna let me get morale victory. What I am gonna do meanwhile is just bring in more and more martyrs and panzergrants. capped this. They keep bringing in new leaders, but uh, yeah, we have their reinforcements cut off there. Pushing up that right side went really well. But yeah, with the Gepards in position, we're just not seeing them use the helicopters. Unless, like, this unit isn't the helicopters, the HBS. But I think it is. That artillery is a bit annoying. Let's just move out of there. Baldwin, bring us there. Baker five, ready. We'll deploy it. I brought up all these stingers and Plague of Faust and I haven't yes, needed sir. a single one. Oh yeah, I, I guess I did kill the uh, the recon aircraft that we found. Waiting for instructions. This is Red Two. Enemy spotted. That's another tank gone. Ooh, I just saw a helicopter. Okay. Now we're talking. Baldwin, bring us there. Kind of careful here. Oh, it's an MA9 leader. Interesting. Right, these need to keep moving up. And shift these up. Oh, I, th I just realized I have it on half speed. Wondered why everything was moving so slowly. <laughs> Alright. Bring up more stuff. Good. Another kill. Don't mind if I do. And uh, we, we can move the leader down here, maybe get into that town. Just move back. Keep dodging that artillery. Out there, you shoot first and ask questions later. The same fate would befall the helicopters if they came in, so. Just as well they're not bringing in there. Helicopters, but they are constantly bringing in their leaders, and that is not working well. Probably get these stingers to get all the way up here and kill the MI9. We'll leave some Fliegerfaust dotted around here just in case a MI9 does manage to make it. But meanwhile, let's go ahead and push through here. And it looks like that might be worth chasing. This is just a lot of artillery units. Well, the Marder's doing a good job here, actually. At close range, the Marder here should be able to kill that BMP pretty effectively. Martyrs need to move in. Get the Abrams in here. The ACAVs can come over here as well. Panzerguns have done a really good job killing these uh, Mochitsen. Wow. 
I did not expect that. Usually Panzer Guns kind of suck because they have small squad sizes, but... Seem to work out for us there. these, push them across. Found the MI9, keep pushing through the forest. Some of my dismount troopers got killed. Bad times. There we have it. Now we just leave it split up. How many MI9s do they have? It was was I like looking at the unit wrong? I was like, we're gonna run out of ammo. Maybe it's just a leader unit. That's a lot of MI9s. I'm pretty sure they had loads of like. I don't know. They must have brought in a different unit than I thought they did. I don't even think they had that many MI9s. It's crazy. Need some supply. <laughs> the morale's at 20. We just kill the rest of these Kvartica guys. We win the battle. Don't even know if they have any groups left here. Alright, let's just put one of these here. Got some units on the left there. Alright, just keeping it sped up. One of these units are running out of fuel, so. There we have it. That is a very much victory in 20 seconds. The thing is, it's not even going to be a total victory, right? It's going to be like a major victory. <laughs> I'm curious what unit came in there. It can't have been that unit. They have that many MI9s. There's no command left at all for them. Alright, well, good battle. <laughs> We're going to have to wait one turn. And uh, maybe two turns, actually, before we can hit Bad Hersfeld. Hmm. Alright, well, unfortunately, it's been my time. We're going to leave it here. In the next one, uh, we will try and take back Bad Hersfeld. Uh, but it, it will probably take a couple of turns. So I'm going to be chilling there for a little while. Uh, and then we'll be fending off the attacks at Alsfeld some more. So, yeah, should be fun. Looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.